<laughs> Are you gonna actually hit the car? It's recording. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> the fuck? Hey, is that your car? Yeah. Dude, you're a beast. Holler. Number one, um, what the f? <laughs> no, seriously, though. So, a uh, little bit of background on this um, unfortunate situation, to say the least. So, it was Labor Day weekend, it was Sunday, mid afternoon, probably like 2 30 or something like that. And um, from that last part of that clip here, you can actually see me pull up in my Jeep. And so, talk about timing. I live in a community where it's communal parking and Having a Ferrari or my Rolls Royce or some of the other exotics that I've had, um, I've been very fortunate up to this point not to have any issues, minus a very large ding on my Bentley. But for the most part, no issues in my community, right? And so this guy, obviously, he's not in his right mind. And the situation with the guy recording, because a lot of you guys are going to hate on him, and I guarantee you're going to make a comment down here. The guy in the, in the pink shorts was walking down the parking ramp with a golf club in his hand. And um, had said, hey, you know, buddy, you're going to want to watch this. And this guy was literally just walking to his car. And, you know, the guy's like, okay, you know, and it's recording. And then you see the result of that. And so talk about timing, though. Like, I literally pulled up as this thing had just gone down. And um, if you listen very quick, uh, closely to the last part of that clip where he says, is that your car? And the guy's like, yeah. You know, the guy said that ahead of time, said that this was his car and that he was going to do this. It was definitely premeditated and um, unfortunate. So, you know, as I catch him doing this, what you don't see that wasn't caught on video because it escalated very quickly after this is I got out of the Jeep and the guy hopped back on the hood of the Ferrari and was just about to swing the golf club and come down and smash the windshield as I uh, had to use force to get him off the car. And so I did physically restrain him um, for 10 minutes while and, uh, the, the police department had shown up. Um, I did call 911. They were very good. They stayed with me on the phone the entire time. You know, we had an unmarked car that was there pretty quickly, within like 10 minutes or so. It felt like forever. And then another marked uh, unit had come and, and uh, helped to control the situation. So, you know, after the initial confrontation of me pulling him off the car um, and me subduing him slightly, uh, no real violence. Nobody really got hurt. You know, no issues there. I, he didn't swing the golf club at me or anything like that. It wasn't violent. He actually stuck around, and which is very, very shocking. And so. He managed to stay there the entire time. Um, we had conversation. It was very obvious that he wasn't in his right mind. I don't know if that had to do with intoxication of some sort. It wasn't alcohol, but um, definitely some issues going on there. And so, you know, at the end of the day, uh, I have to make a decision whether I prosecute this guy. And he's looking at some pretty serious charges, which would include um, felony, proper damage. And, you know, I don't know what the estimate is. I haven't gotten the estimate yet. I'll leave a comment or update this video as soon as I do. But um, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. I would love to hear your conversation about this and what I should do with this guy if he's got real mental issues, whether I prosecute or if there's another avenue that you would suggest I take because I'm a very open-minded person when it comes to these types of things. Um, at the end of the day, my insurance is going to pick it up. And yes, I've got a deductible. It's a thousand bucks. But at the end of the day, it will get fixed and life will go on for me. And do I make this more difficult? for him. And so I'd love your feedback on that. You know, the big takeaway from this is that you're going to be confronted with situations every day of your life and it really matters and shows your character as far as how you react to those situations. And so uh, it was nonviolent and I was able to uh, walk away and he did go to jail and uh, he's getting out tomorrow. So um, again, let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you. Uh, please take two seconds and like and subscribe. That would mean a lot to me. We can kind of beat that algorithm just a little bit. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you um, and I look forward to seeing you in the future, not with more videos like this. Uh, have a prosperous day. Talk to you soon. Take care.